Hello, Christian Fellowship Church. This, this is Tracy and Angela Pascal sharing our daily bread. Richie reached out to us to do this, and we're honored to share a little bit of what God's been saying to us uh, during these times of uh, probably unquestioned peril, uh, I would say. Uh, there's a lot of questions out there. There's a lot, there's a lot of fear. And uh, one of the things that God told us was not, there's over 365 uh, times he says, fear not in the Bible. And uh, that that's one for each day of the year. Um, so he doesn't want us to fear. And one of the ways he doesn't want us to fear, and he shows us that, uh, the scripture I'm gonna be reading today is Ephesians 3, 14 through 21. And uh, it says, for this reason, I bow my knee to the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he may grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with the might through his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width, the length, the depth, and the height, to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge that may that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. It says here, now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask according to the power that works in us. We've heard all this scripture many times before, you know, quoted about him being able to do it to him who can do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think but there's a key word there that we sometimes overlook and I have many times and it's now and when you see it says now to him who is able to well why is it now it's because it's because after you know what Paul is saying here he says to know the the love of Christ to know how much he loves you, the height, you being rooted and grounded in the love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints the width, the length, the depth, and the height of love. And, and he, I really feel like in this time, he's really just reinforced that with me. Um, we have, we've both been out of work. She has longer than I have, but we've been out of work for four weeks now. And the Lord is taking care of us. I mean, we haven't missed a beat. Mm -hmm. uh, he has uh, showed up and showed out abundantly, uh, far more than what we at first Deserve. thought. <laughs> first thought we were going to uh, get, and uh, we and I was worried at first. I, you know, it was. Uh, I've never in my life since I was 16 years old been without a job, and and now it's been four weeks. Uh, not that I haven't been working. <laughs> uh, someone's had me working on the home projects. Uh, but uh, here he, he just he's, he says now to him. And that's after we get that comprehension of how much he, he loves us. Uh, for those of you who are parents, I mean, uh, I know this from my own experience with my two sons and now my daughter-in-law and my grandson is there is nothing that if I have the ability to do that they need me to do that I wouldn't do for them mm -hmm. and that's and, and they have that confidence in coming to me and asking me that knowing how much I do they know how much I love them you know I, I, sometimes I've probably not been the best at showing that uh, at times but I mean they're, the older I get <laughs> the more I uh, it's uh, I guess I get a little more emotional and uh, uh, sentimental with things but uh, you know, there's nothing I mean I've always been one who uh, worked to provide and, and, and it's just I don't, I don't know. It, God's there to provide for us at all times. 
I mean, if I had to work extra, I did extra things to try to, to provide for my family, in which God doesn't have to work to provide. He, he just provides. He has everything that we can ever hope for. But when we get that comprehension, it talks about the fullness of God being in us. It passes, you know, the, the fullness of, of it, God being in us. And in 1 John, he talks about that God is love. And that power that he, you know, that works in us is his love for us. And when we get a true revelation of how much, I mean, he sent Jesus to die for us. I mean, the Bible says that no greater love is a man express than one that dies for it, dies for you. And uh, when Jesus died on that cross, that was the ultimate act of love. And he loves us more than we can even I mean it says we can comprehend but really we had our minds really our human mind really it's it's something you pretty much got to get through the spirit mm -hmm. it, it's uh, he, the, the grasp the I mean it's just when the Lord loves you that much I mean he does he loves you that much church and we love you we miss all of you, yes. and we can't wait uh, to be able to get back and hug you. <laughs> yeah, hug, hug one another and worship with one another, even though we're still worshiping with you online. Thankful for that. Thankful for that, and uh, just uh, we also want to say uh, that we're praying for Brother Rick. Uh, we are believing for full. And complete healing yes. in his body. Yes. And we thank you. We thank God for that every morning, every evening, every day, every minute. And uh, we love him and we love you, church. God bless. Lord, we thank you for this church, Lord, and we thank you for you this day, Lord. And Lord, we just ask you to be with our people, Lord, and Lord, all over the nation, you be with our leaders. Give them wisdom, Lord, in this time of crisis. Lord, uh, be with our workers that are out, the frontline workers, the nurses, the doctors, Lord. Just be with them. Protect them, Lord. And, uh, and just uh, encamp your angels around them, Lord. Lord, for Rick, Lord, we just speak healing into his yes. body right now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for by your stripes that you bore on your back. He is healed. And we thank you for that, Lord God. And Lord, we thank you for anybody that... Lord, just provide for those that are needing provision. We thank you that you're Jehovah Jireh. Yes. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you provide for us and uh, anything you, you anything we need, Lord. And we just thank you for it, Lord God. Lord, uh, uh, give us peace, wisdom, and Lord, your will be done in each one of our lives today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.